Julius Caesar, so hopefully I don't hit anybody in the head. Woo! Fuck, I missed, so if somebody could throw that in there, that would help. <laughs> uh, can I just burn it in front of everybody? Uh, yeah, but then you'd owe me a dollar. <laughs> but I, why do I owe you a dollar? You want to Relax, me? man, it's just a joke. Right. Someone give me a lighter, please. Give me a lighter. I need to burn this. Give me a lighter. On deck, I need a... Uh, Someone give me a lighter. Jim Bab. That's why I love anarchists, because they don't give a shit what you have to say. They're just hanging out down there no matter what. They're not following rules at all. This is beautiful. Guys, <laughs> right, let's come on down this way. Join the party. All right, a couple quick announcements, just so you all know if this is your first time here. Welcome. This is the final end of the Fed rally. I'm hanging this up. I'm not doing this anymore, so thank you all for being here. Uh, just as far as the route, the march route's going to go. We're going to go down 6th Street, make a right on market. We're going to wrap around City Hall. We're going to come back up. I'm going to finish up. Uh, we'll end up in Georgia, which is on 2nd of Market, or 2nd of Chestnut. Oh, I don't want to see. They have something coming with them. Uh, so we're going to end up down at Triumph at 2nd of Market, or 2nd of Chestnut. We have a whole 2nd floor, I think. Woo! That's right. Now listen, this is the final end of the Fed rally that I am going to organize. But I will tell you that uh, two days from now, and this, I'm actually glad that that happened. The reason why is because everybody's been asking me, why is this the last one? Why is this the last one? We'll show up and you'll find out. And the reason why is because that's it. We're done. We've been doing this for five years. I'm done asking the politicians to be nice. Uh, yeah. I don't think I've... I don't think I've written my congressman in years. I'm very proud of that. I used to. I'm a reformed congressman emailer, but I don't do that anymore. And this is the, this is it. I mean, they're going to print themselves into, uh, you know, hopefully into oblivion. And our attitude now is, you know, chance favors are prepared, so it's better to prepare now. It's better to start learning how to trade in things that aren't going to be uh, manipulated over the next hundred years or next hundred days. So that's part of the reason why we're doing this. And the symbol here is to ignore the Fed. And we're here to encourage trade. I don't care if it's Bitcoin. I don't care if it's silver. I don't care if you trade with tomatoes or potato chips. It doesn't matter as long as there's something <laughs> with value. And we've got great examples of great people here in, the, uh, here in Philadelphia. It's the Bitcoin Philadelphia group. It's Bitcoin PHL, but it, you guys got to have a better name because you can't say that publicly. Um, but there's the Bitcoin group. Derek Freeman is going to be uh, speaking in a little bit. And Derek, if you are friends with him on Facebook or you follow him on Twitter, you'll see he posts pictures of himself like drinking a latte, and he's like, I just paid for this in Bitcoin. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. And it's just that something like that's really inspiring, and you look sharp as a tack today, my friend. All right, so, but this coming Monday, people I've never met before, uh, people are getting this message about the Federal Reserve and to start paying attention to this. So on Monday, this is my last rally, but this is far from the last end the Fed rally. On Monday at 5 o'clock, there's people that are going to be here. I have no idea who they are, but they're going to be bringing flashlights and they're going to shine light on the Fed. That's incredible. That's amazing. Woo! I've been doing this so long. Let me get the hell out of your way so you can come up with better creative ideas. And that's the point of today. So we're going to encourage freedom, promote trade, and teach people what the hell's wrong with this place. We're lucky. Today's uh, the shortest day of the year. Woo! Today's the winter solstice. Did you know that this is the shortest day in the year? Yeah? All right. Well, they made it short. They tried to make it cold. The sun's out. It's nice and sunny. I'm in a short sleeve t-shirt in, in Philadelphia on December, uh, whatever the hell today's date is. That's pretty exciting. 21, thank you. Woo! One thing about why this is the last one is because people react to things when things are taken away from them, right? Your rights, people stand up. And we've seen that over the past five years and this erosion of rights and people have finally gathered around. Well, guess what? I'm taking the end of Fed rallies away from you. No more. And if you want it, pick it up and take it. And that's, uh, that's encouraging. I'll tell you what, where's Brian? Where'd you go? I'm going to point you out. There you go. Haven't seen Brian in a while. He showed up to the final in the Fed rally. That was the reason why we call it the last one. We're trying to get everybody to come out today. So uh, while we're here together, let's use this time. Let's network, meet new people. You're going to find a lot of people here willing to reject the Federal Reserve note, business owners that are willing to accept something else other than firms, so please take it. I'm sure Poe takes, uh, takes Bitcoin for, for jokes. Woo! All right. <laughs> <laughs> give yourself, uh, give yourselves a chance to learn from each other. Uh, Josie yesterday, who is on her way, she posted something yesterday. It was a really heartfelt post that she said that we're all each other's role models. Damn, she nailed, you know, hit the nail on the head. We really are. I look up to every single one of you, and uh, I hope that you guys find each other, you know, find role models in each other too. And that's why we're here. The whole point today is the network. So let's continue this conversation. Let's keep it going. I lost my prop, but my end the Fed mug dropped this week, and the handle broke off. So I don't have an, I 
I still have it in the Fed cup, but the handle's broken. So I think that was a kind of a weird metaphor. But I still drink coffee, and it still works. So I'm still going to talk about the Fed, and we're still going to encourage people to stop paying attention to these assholes. With that being said, thank you very much! He does that all the time, and it makes me nervous. Ladies and gentlemen, the first speaker we're going to bring up is a very good friend of mine named Jim Babb. Y'all know him and love him, and Jim's up, uh, I don't know what he's going to say, but you know it's going to be awesome. So please, welcome to Mr. Jim Babb.